Hi all, it's V, and this is our visit to the Edinburgh Zoo. It's easy to get to the zoo by bus, and that's what we did on this day. And the dinosaurs outside are to promote this thing they have in November, which we hope to get back to, with lanterns. We'll see what that's like in November. As you walk into the zoo, you're greeted by the meerkats. How funny are they? They're so cute. On this visit, many of the animals weren't out, or they were in their houses and we couldn't see them. So this isn't all of the animals at the zoo. Oh my gosh, look at that. How cute are they? <laughs> then we ran into pelicans, sunning themselves and cleaning themselves. I love pelicans. I think maybe it's because I've never lived anywhere where pelicans lived. I find them so exotic and just amazing. I love them. Red River Hog. There's two of them. They're big ears. <coughs> Colors. Oh wow, that's pretty blue. Aren't well, they pretty? Uh, vulturine guinea fowl. Okay, I think this is a louse monkey. Oh, there he goes, climbing. Oh, and they're grooming. Oh, oh, he's eating bugs off of him. That's really sweet. Oh, relationship goal. So it's either lost or loused. I don't know. This zoo is famous for their penguins. They even have a penguin walk. I'm not certain if it's every day. Okay, a quick Google check. It looks like the penguin parade is on every day at 2.15 unless the penguins don't want to. They're not forced to, they're not encouraged with food, so if they don't want to come out, then occasionally the parade is canceled. I'm sorry we missed it this time. Next time we will be there. I've seen it once before, and it's amazing how big the king penguins are. And some kids get a bit scared because they don't realize how close the penguins are coming to you. They just walk right down the walkway. It's adorable. Penguins have been here since 1914. Six penguins, including four kings, did them disembark at Leith Docks from South Georgia. In 1915, the penguin pool was built at a cost of 150 pounds. In 2013, Penguins Rock, which is what it is now, opened. This is the tapir. They were a little bit afraid because there was a leaf blower outside. So they stayed in their little hut and they look a bit nervous, but once the leaf blowing was over, I'm sure they were perfectly fine. And not all animals are kept in the cages. We saw butterflies and a squirrel or two running around. Black and white tegu. Mm -hmm. Pygmy hippo! He's asleep! Look at that face. Oh my goodness. So cute. I wonder he's not out yet. He's like, I'm still asleep. The sun bear was so cute. It looks like a big teddy bear, but a big teddy bear with very big claws. The shine on this bear's coat you can tell he's well cared for. No, look at him. I think he wants 
company. Mongoose, a uh, dwarf mongoose. In the koala house, they ask the visitors be quiet because, well, obviously they sleep most of the day. But how flippin' cute is that face? Oh my goodness. The Edinburgh Zoo has four koalas. These are the only Queensland koalas in the UK. And this January, they found a six-month-old koala joey peeking its head out of its mom's pout. And it was a girl. This is girl. Girl. So this one he's kept separately. Oh. This is male, so he's kept separately. Look at that face. He's dark set glam on his chest to mark his territory. The wallabies and kangaroos are kept in a huge open air area where you can walk nearly right up to them, but they tend to stay back a bit. Wallabies. No. Oh, it hopping. I saw the kangaroo hop two hops. Okay, that little black furry spot is a panda. Right. Yeah, he moved. He is up there. I just can't see it. There are two pandas, and they've tried to breed them, but with no luck so far. Can you walk around up there? Says, look, he's been down. Oh, Teresa. Yeah, he's sat back there. Oops, Teresa's in the way, too. Scratching his ear, his head. Oh my gosh, he's so cute. Look at that face. Can you see that? Aww. Just done looking at everybody. Oh. Sis is done. Watch it, I'm taking it. This red panda I thought was not in its enclosure, but then someone pointed it out and it was way up in a tree. Wow! I didn't know red pandas climb trees. I don't know much about red pandas. I need to do some studying. And then we ended up back at the pelicans. I still love these creatures. The Edinburgh Zoo has seasonal opening times, usually opening at 10 and closing anywhere between 4 and 6 p.m. They are closed on Christmas days and certain holidays, so double check the website before you plan to visit. I think it's a fantastic zoo, and I'm pretty picky about my zoos. The enclosures are big, and the animals are obviously well cared for. I'm really impressed, and I love this place. We will be back shortly. Thank you all so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed it, and if you did, Please subscribe.